Through three stimulus packages, the Malaysian government has introduced measures to help Malaysians keep their jobs and assist those who have found themselves without an income. Here, we'll focus on the two most recent ones, Prihatin and Penjana, which was announced after the MCO came into effect. So, let's break it down. The first, Prihatin, was announced on March 27, two weeks into the MCO. Under Prihatin, eligible households will receive up to 1,000 ringgit payment. The government will pay wage subsidies of 600 ringgit per month for three months for workers earning less than 4,000 ringgit. And an allocation of 9.5 billion ringgit was pledged to help finance SMEs. The second, Penjana, was announced a few months later on June 5th as the impact of the coronavirus became more apparent. Under Penjana, wage subsidies with 600 ringgit for each employee for an additional three months were introduced. Hiring incentives of up to 800 ringgit per month for six months for employers and allowance of 1,000 ringgit for six months. 2 billion ringgit allocated for training and reskilling programs in collaboration with local industries, technical and digitization grants for SMEs, and SME funding and microcredit at concession rates.